That'd be great. Thanks. I just have major trepidation about this reinfusion because number two was horrendous. On the way home, when you're at home? No, I'm not no later. Yet. It takes about eight hours for it to start to. No, really I'm not talking on. about immediate. I'm talking about the whole, the whole trip. So how do you feel? Tell me. There's pages written down. Everything. Ouch. You didn't quite get that. I'll just give you the air Really? Because it went in perfectly. I know, but nobody ever misses like that. What? It goes in painlessly. <laughs> I'm like, that, I can't, can't get any better than that right there. Oh, no, you got it in the center. Did you hit the wall? I know they're wide. I don't like the flexible ones. I hope the heck it's no worse, better than the second one. No, well, luckily this is your last. Luckily, I almost didn't come down. Okay? I'm back, and I'm tough. He is tough. No, I really, right. really am. I had mental problems. I had everything in my Oh, you've had mental headache. problems ever since I've known you. No, I had everything but a headache. In major, major, uncontrollable ways, with throbbing pains, with changing. Insane things, things that are not listed as side effects. Yeah, but you got to stop taking the LSD. With the, you what? Know, you got to stop taking the LSD. Oh no, I was pretty close to, and I've never had those problems before. I don't mean Lakeshore Drive. You know. <laughs> By the way, I know the kid that wrote Lakeshore Drive. His mother was my secretary, and he used to be my drug dealer. It used to be your what? My drug dealer in the 60s. Oh, what the heck? Do you know the kid who wrote what? Ellis, um, Lucy in the Sky of Diamonds? No, that no, one? no. The like, Beatles uh, one? There's a song called Lakeshore uh, Drive. His initials were LSD. And it's That's by Eliota Haynes Jeremiah. Okay. And uh, Haynes is Skip Haynes. Okay. And his mom was my secretary. Oh, very cool. Yeah, Did she know that um, okay. her son was... Helping you out? Uh, not then. <laughs> no, not then. I'm gonna move your camera just for a second, okay? Yeah, here. Okay. I don't want you to get. Yeah. I'm sure that's only a three-dollar camera. Yeah, it's a cheap one. I actually have 35 of these because I was gonna. Yeah, I still am. Cannons, yeah. Teach a teacher class, and I wanted everybody to have the same camera because it's not the camera; it's the operator. No kidding. Yeah, I know, I know it's a shocking thing to admit. To. Well, it's easier when you tell them they're doing something wrong, though. Because you don't have to think what camera they have. Well, you know, the, the, you get so many gadgets and so many things, you, you don't understand what the hell it is you're doing. I love these wraparound bandages. I'm saving some of them. Really? Have to buy some more. No, as a bicyclist. Oh, yeah. As people go down, if they have a couple of gauze pads, everything else, you can wrap it up and compress it quite fast when somebody has an accident. And actually, you can use it as a tourniquet. Oh, yeah. Quick okay. And then if people talk too much like I do, you just put it right, put it right on their mouth. It works very well. Right? It sounds perfect. <laughs> Watch what you say. You never know. Is, is everything warmed up? If I come in here and see him all taped up over his mouth, I'll know. You'll know. I can't believe all this stuff is happening to you. I, I really cannot believe that. I, I, that know, story is beyond belief. I. I mean, I. I don't think I. I would have a retort. I think I'd be in shock for about a half hour. Well, I was. I, the, the first thing I did, I took. Oh, I also rescued a dog, a little Shih Tzu, and the first thing, and she loved that dog. She has two poodles, which I hate, and I picked I told the dog. You I had a Shih Tzu and can't right. get another dog. I, um, Larry, I need you to take your time on your bed. Okay. Should I take some ibuprofen now or not? Well, I'm giving you time on all, so you, I know. Should, you should be okay. I haven't had any problems with the infusions before. Okay. But he mentioned that I probably should have, but I forgot. I got them in my pocket, but... Uh, Shannon, yes. you, you should tell every woman you know should read this book. Because, it, in a way, it's more about you and what can happen to you than it is about 
other things. Really? Yeah. And it's, if I were a woman, I would be terrified. Oh, no. I like light, light reading. I work here. I like light reading. <laughs> yeah. And no, it isn't. It's, today it's pleasant. Isn't it? This isn't, there's something wrong here. What is it? I don't know. I don't have a spot to put my arm. <laughs> oh, yeah, pull the, pull the thing around. It's... But if, yeah, if, I if go there's water there. in the glass, put the there. glass over. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to drop that and just use the arm. Put the, put the, put the glass over yeah, here or over there, camera. and then you can swing that arm over. There you go. I will be so happy if this is just an easy run. You know what I mean? A normal. You and me both. I don't mind. Believe me, I don't take Novocaine at the dentist, I told you. Oh, no. When I tell you something is... No, no. I Seriously, I don't. I, and you I, know why I tell him that? I said, look, he's up in North Arlington Heights. There are three brothers. They have a beautiful new office. They're very good. I've had people come in, friends of mine. They can't find dentists. He fixes their mouths. And the three of them work together. They subspecialized in the son of one of them was there. The father was a dentist on Peterson. They closed that office. This was yeah, because uh, because everything changed and he's, over there. The, all three are different personalities. You know, and when I go to as a talker like me and so on, it's just what it was. My mother went to him too. The family did. And they are good dentists. Oh, and when I tell him it needs a little bit more sanding, a little bit more grinding, he argues with me, and I said, you're wrong. And he says, I know I should listen to you. He said, every time, you know what I mean? Now he has cameras and everything, and he can look at it. He says, you're right. I said, okay, at this point, could you please polish it? He said, when did you get your, your dental, degree? Yeah, dental degree? I said, I was two years ahead of you. What the hell are you talking about? I just don't practice. You're still practicing. You notice? You don't know how to do it yet. <laughs> But he takes the guff. My buddy used to stick her finger in his nose and say, look, you do. It's so funny. It's, listen, life has all of the twists and turns. Yeah, you have to open your eyes and be willing to participate. That's probably an able. Well. I, like, I, like I've been yeah, dancing. Okay. I've been dancing a lot. Yeah, you My told me that. My wife won't go. My foot hurts, this, that, and the rest. Well, it just so happens at this particular time, for some crazy reason, Miguel says, you know, lay off for several weeks. And your wife's gone, and then we go again. She told me something. It's a year and a half. I never play games, and I haven't yet. I mean, it's just a matter of having some fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, why should I not? How many men are sitting in there that don't draw? Yeah, I know. They don't, don't, they're, don't, they're don't get me in the started world. Yeah. They don't, they're not living worth a damn. They have no spark any place. Yeah. You know many of them. Yes, I do. I used to go to a restaurant, which I, I went all the time, and we would look around, and there would be people in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and they would sit there for a whole meal and never say a word to each other. And I'm like, I can And the young group says, talks and talks and talks, and we go, oh, ha, ha, yeah, 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 you're right, oh, sure, sure. And they're talking about topics that have no meaning. For hours. Yeah. I, I, I Drinking a beer, doing their thing, ha, 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 ha. Worse yet, he, he, he. Right? How's that for a photographer? It's like a little kid that yeah, you say, me. smile. You want to take a picture? What does a kid do there's automatically? There's one word that you can't they go like use. This. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I, I don't I, know I, what it is. I have a theory, and the theory is that the face you give is the face you figured out to give your parents when you were a little kid. When they said smile, and you didn't know what the hell they were talking about, you contorted your face until they stopped saying that. And sure. that's the face you use the rest of your life when somebody says that. So I don't. On, on my jobs, if a parent says that to their kids, I make them go take a time out. Because we don't use that word. Now, here. if you tell me to say cheese, I'll ask you what kind. I, I, don't, I don't use that either. No, I wouldn't either. And in fact, what you do is you distract them. That's exactly You're it. better off doing that. In you nice make them way. think about something said, else. Take a look at that picture I have on the wall back there. For one second, I want you to tell me, uh, and as they turn back to look at you, 
you have a real picture. Mm. If it's something that makes you smile a little bit, and you want to smile, in most cases, if they don't smile, they either aren't too smart for their age for the picture, you might want to have different pictures. But anything, I mean, it's so easy to get a natural laugh. It is, really. I, I tell them, do you... know what I do? I can wiggle my ears separately and together. I used to. I can't do it anymore. No, I can. In fact, they got stronger over the years. You know what I did? I made a silent language with, with this gal when I was sitting there. I said, I don't want anybody to hear us talking. So, listen, this is yes, this is no, and this would be maybe. <laughs> Just, that was just That's a month good. ago. But I never lost my child, neither of you. No. Never. That, please don't take that away from me. Never. That's the spice of life. That's that's the pure middle I was on, I, of the tree. I was traveling one time from 6 in the morning. So I, <clears> I went down to Roatan, which is a little island off of Honduras. It was a scuba diver. It was an avid scuba I can't diver. hear you, though. I, I, I was an avid scuba diver. And I went on a trip, and I, I, I spent 12 hours, 13 or 14 hours, to get to this little island. And then we get to this island, and now I have to go in a little boat, <coughs> like a, a little bigger than a canoe, <coughs> about 50, 60 yards to, to the next little island, which is really a little island, because that's where the, the, the houses or the, the little cabins where that we were going to stay. Did they make this more complicated? No, I, I'm just telling you this. And, and, and so I've been restrained in airplanes and sitting in airports all uh, the whole time. So I'm down there. I'm sitting in the boat, and it's like absurd to me. I'm a scuba diver, and we're taking this little boat across over the water. And I said, you know, screw this. I stood up, I took off my shirt, and I just jumped in the water. One of the best things I ever did. They all thought I was crazy. I said, "What? we came down here to go in the water, didn't we? You've been on airplanes the whole day, and actually in the, mo in the middle of the night. So let's get in the water. Well, the point, the difference is, is this. As a photographer, you're always an individualist. I hadn't thought Think about it back. that way, but yeah, uh, yeah, I understand. I mean, be, yeah. you're creative. That isn't the point. The point is, is you listen to your inner self more than the average person does. The so I found self, out. The inner self, and I've done much reading, I'm still reading another one, over a long time, on top of much else. It's about the soul. Mm -hmm. I understand what it is. That, that's all that you have. It is you. Yeah. That's, that's it. That's it. The rest of it is all bullshit. Until the computer came out, I didn't have the total picture. The brain definitely works as a computer. It has no emotions. Right. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. It can about. create emotions from the soul. Right. Anger, happiness, whatever. And a lot of it you can control. How's it going? It it's, went. It's terrible. <laughs> it's just terrible. Oh. Um, so I never did ask you, what is it that you feel like after this? Um, when I would take the, I take the bus over to the train, yep. and the bus ride is usually fine. Mm -hmm. On the train, I start getting tired. The first time I just broke out into a, a, a cold sweat. Okay. And so it hits you pretty quick. Yeah, but it, it, it's just not, not like right away. The last time. I got on the train and I started to feel, I'm, I'm fairly energetic, believe it or not, and I was like, shit, I'm getting really tired. I had a book, I couldn't read the book. I, I was afraid I'd sleep through my stop. Got in the car, went to the office, that's three, four miles. Got over there and I said, I can't work, I'm too, too tired. I went home to the place that I'm now thrown out of. And I went to bed on 6.30 on Friday, and I really didn't become functional until the middle of the day on Monday. So I just, just knocked really out. Extremely yeah. You get chills at all? I didn't. Okay. I so didn't. Just I just, I just got really, really fatigued beyond okay. what I'm normally okay. accustomed to. That's got sure. um, I know that the second one is the worst, yeah. typically. Um, so let's hope that. Yeah, especially for him. You know, for him. Yeah. See, he got a lot worse than I did.
guys, this is your last one today. Mm -hmm. See, yeah, I don't know good. if that's good or bad because I like I like to know that things are still being yeah. done for me. Yeah. So you give me a treatment and then you throw me out and say, no, oh, maybe. hopefully that's it works. Not what we're doing. Stop it. <laughs> I do like your your camera is just focused in on you. Yeah. Oh, really? Were you taking a video? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He has oh. he has wisdom. No. Well, so. I interrupted. You're not taking not the picture. picture. Of, come over. A pretty girl can always come over here. Michael, you got to take the picture of everybody that's talking to you. No, we don't need pictures. <laughs> <laughs> they always run away. When I, when I turn the camera, that they start running away. <laughs> Who does she work for? I don't know. I don't know either. Ask her what her name is. I don't know. What are you doing? they got so many people, they don't know what they're doing. She probably walked in and saw those lab coats, put it on, and just figured she'd kind of go with the flow. That's because you look like a kindly old gentleman. <laughs> you see, around Christmas time, you can go put the pillow on and yeah. do your thing. Yeah, lately, again. I don't even need the pillow lately. But you have to develop your ho-ho-ho a little bit more, a little louder. It's, you know, life is adventure. You've had a lot of adventure. I have. I have. More than I have. Probably. My wife, oh, no. It's part of it is my wife helped me back. And I regret that too. I'm sorry to hear that. I, I gave in on a lot of things. And I mean, I went 66, I was in Orange County, you know, in yeah. San Orange Diego. Orange County? So, oh, yeah. In fact, I even, I worked in the drug business 40 years. Right. I was down there during the drug time in the emergency room helping them hold patients while they're doing spinals and everything else. I mean, I've had experience. Wow. I well, saw the first, at, at Loyola, I was at, at the second open heart surgery. With Roque Piffery. I was the only one in the gallery, and I went down afterward to the anesthesiologist, and I'm watching him close up. He's pointing out everything. I've seen so much. Wow. I mean, the beginning of oncology, there were only five guys that started when I did that were oncologists. I, I got my training here at Northwestern, the first training class. A guy from NCI came down and taught the first three fellows and the radiation people. And I sat in an old lunchers. I went to all the tumor boards and all the major hospitals. Before yeah, that, you ought to write a I book. started with all the new penicillins. You ought to, you ought to, you ought to write a history of what, what you saw develop well, 58 over 58 to 98 I worked. That's a span oh, of the old timers. I had the guy, I remember stopping uh, Jacob Greenhill one day in the middle of a conversation. He had a big practice. He was an old timer. Beautiful suite. Up on top. Yeah, just take it out. And I said, I took me to how can you carry on a full practice of surgery with a big practice like this, be the editor of the Journal of OB and do this looking sharp. Where do you get the time? How do you do it? I learned lots for old timers. And he told me, he said, don't tell anybody. He said, I take cat naps. He I said, I'm able to tell the girl up front, no disturbance. He said, no more than 20 minutes, usually around 15, between 15 and 20. And I tried that afterward. It does work when you need it, but I just don't do it like he did it. He had four hours sleep a night, he told me. That was it. Never more. And that's how he accomplished all this stuff. He didn't take tons of cat naps, but he had a time where he knew it would be the best, most beneficial yeah, That makes good sense to me. The what? That makes good sense to me. Well, that was years and years and years ago. There was a guy in the Pittsfield building that was down there talking to the few reps. They still have a lot of them get together. We still have a get together, but an awful lot of them are dead. Some are senile. It was a day and age that was so completely different. I mean, the people that were in it had backgrounds. I, mean, I had a background before I ever started in the business. There were no women in it. There were no dinners and lunches and garbage. Yeah. It turned my stomach. It's sort of like everybody's a photographer. They got a camera. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I, I face it every day. I mean, it's not being <clears throat> hypercritical. It's just being like, what did you do? And then you're overpaying them terribly. I grew up in a time that was difficult. I ended up doing all my own research on antibiotics and cancer. I still keep up. I give him papers. I know you do. I know you do. But it isn't the point. Is it? My wife said, oh, it's an obsession. I said, no, that was my business. 
and I'm involved finally. You know, I, as I told some people, one time it slipped out. I said, you live by the sword? <laughs> and the radiation guy says, I hope not, but I've been doing this for 20 years. I said, well, uh, you never know. Well, where did you move to? I, I, um, my neck is hurting. I belong to the Jewish War Veterans Post 29, and the commander uh, became a friend of mine, and so is the former commander. And I'm living in his basement until I can figure out what the hell I'm going to do. He lives with his wife and her twin sister. And that's an it. That that alone has made it more than worthwhile to to live down in the basement. <laughs> it's a trip, man. It's you, just, can, you only got one way. To, one well, actually, you got two ways. You can go further down into. I go a little now. further down. <laughs> or you know, when you're younger, there's only one way to go up, right? Uh, uh, I don't know. Each day, each day is different. Get yourself together. As long as he doesn't. If it's not, if, well, it, if it's I, a somewhat, how do you say, uh, obviously it's temporary. Yeah. But that isn't the point. How temporary, no one's probably. I have to leave by June 1st because they've got relatives coming. Because who? By June 1st, they have relatives coming. Ouch. So I told uh, the other commander's wife, she's somebody you'd love to talk to her. She's she's a former opera singer, um, yeah. jazz, it's just, she's amazing and she's 80 years old and opinionated as hell and knows all the political ins and outs and the and she's just anyway she called up she invited me to come for Mother's Day because they own a restaurant in Skokie and I said well I'd love to and so we chat and I told her the story she said well after you're done with Joe's house you can come here and stay her husband has a big office that they built above the garage with a bathroom and a shower and everything. So it's she'll stay over there until you get together. Is it insulated? Well, you know, somewhat. Yeah. Well, it's insulated from the house in that there's a stair, and there's stairs that come up there from the garage. That's the only way you can get there. No, I'm, well, that's what I'm saying. But I mean, it's 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 done with insulation as well as you probably won't. Do they have a window air conditioner in there or no? Oh, oh, they got everything there. Everything's in there. Yeah. It's a, it's a great big office like. Hey, listen, room. if you come down to, you know what, we like you here. Uh, if you don't mind it for a period of time and you need an extension, then I'm yeah. sure that we can carry you pay rent. Depends on whether they're going to use it or not. If you like it. Well, sir. sometimes those places are much better than going into a building with somebody with a radio <laughs> and a stereo set and, and walking oh, around the oh, floor yeah. with wooden. You know, with those Dutch shoes. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm talking I, about. I know Dogs exactly. barking. And yeah. I'm not joking. Sometimes you're quiet. And that's what you need. Yeah, well, this is quiet. As, as is the basement. The basement's very quiet, sure. except at 3 o'clock this morning, his computer wakes itself up to do uploads. The what? I can't it, hear. It, his computer wakes itself up to do uploads and downloads and whatever. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I keep mine off. I I, did. I, I keep mine off. One. It was a huge one. I got 19 on Windows this morning at five. I, well, anyway, the damn thing wakes up at three in the morning, and I'm like, is there somebody down here with me? But it shouldn't be doing that. It should be. It, it, he puts it to sleep so that it does wake oh, up. Okay. You know, he doesn't turn it off. And so it did wake up, and so eventually I went over to it and I said, yeah, "You got to go to sleep because I don't, I don't need this now." There's no reason. I mean, first of all, it would be nice if you had a little light go on the computer saying you have heavy downloads, especially you know more than three. Mm -hmm. And if you're in a slower speed versus a faster speed, it depends. I can't get a faster speed. Most of the time, I don't need it. But I don't get on the computer every day. Uh, I'm on there. That, that's the only way. That's my whole business is. Without it, I have no business that's anymore. Different. I don't send things out. They, you, I upload. I download. So I upload. I download. You got laziness now. Not busy. Not because I wanted it that way. No, I know. Not self-induced. <coughs> Not self-induced well, All you gotta at all. do is figure out something else now. Oh, well, that's what I'm trying to do. That's why I bought 35 of these, 
and the cases, and I was in the middle of, I have a website up right. for it, but it's incorrect, and then I lost everything, so I have to start from scratch. Well, for a little extra, you know, places like senior centers, they hire people to do teaching. That, that's the, the what centers. I'm going to do. You know, in the city, you get things on that order. Uh, picking up, potentially, actually even starting in a different area. Yeah. Well, my sister wants doing me. what you were doing. I mean, not the people you knew. Right. You know what I'm saying? My That's sister wants me to come up to Montana. I mean, but it teaches you a lesson. I mean, what's that word, go sip? Hand somebody a straw with a little so-and-so. Shove it up your nose. I don't know that one. I never talk about people. Never, ever, ever, unless it's sometimes good. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I learned a long time ago, it's not my business to talk about things I learn about people. That's a very good quality for you to have. Yeah, it isn't a quality, it's something that is. I mean, it's like you're honest or you're dishonest. You're super greedy or you're not. Are you altruistic or... I mean, at what point, where do you get that balance of reasonability? But there's, you know, the do unto others kind of stuff. Especially when it comes down to... Somebody that tells you, if they start to gossip, I don't, I don't go into it. Right. I, I just don't. I mean, I don't want to know. It's like a live soap opera. Okay. I'll say. Well, this tells you the people have no depth and they have nothing to talk about. They have about. nothing to talk about. Yeah, there's nothing else to talk about. Living that's where I live. <laughs> so living soap opera. That's why all those programs have a following. I mean, there are many people that have the problem. I know. If you do, if you're watching it to learn something, that's something else. Because they're less no, they're just everything. watching it to occupy the time of their life, and then it's over. You notice how every year goes faster than the year before. Yeah, you know, that's because you're more aware, and and there's no. Yeah, to me, it is. When you were a kid, every year moved a little bit faster. Some years were like ten years. Yeah. Now. But it just kept picking up more and more. But I still think it's because you become more aware as you're older and you realize there's more to do, there's more you can do. When you're a kid, you're like, I used to sit in, well, that's why I got in trouble. I would sit in class in grade school, they had a big clock, and I just watched the hands go around. I couldn't wait to get well, out of it. You weren't constipating, were you? Huh? <laughs> I was a lot of things. No, part of, part of it was, it's beside daydreaming. But it, what you're looking at is, is a situation whereby, why do you want to learn anything? For me? Anybody. Well, it want to learn. It, it, it improves your to ability money, to cope with what's around you. There's an esoteric to it. But what I'm talking about, most people are animals. It's money. It's holding on to my money or forms thereof. It's looking good to other people. Yeah. I didn't care ever. When I go out, we used to go out in conversation, the more, the more people there, the less I talked. The conversations were always, and my wife still believes this, the nonsense. The price of tea in China kind of thing, you know? Nothing of any depth, because you might upset someone. I said, what are you doing? I can't be responsible for it. If there were 20 people in a room, I might upset one of the 20, maybe more. How can I control that? You can't. They have to control themselves. That's right. They can shut it off. They can leave. They say, I don't agree. They can fight with you. They can make the choice if they're an adult, not a child. I said, I agree with a child. I said, but adults are responsible for themselves. Right. <clears throat> There's a thing of argumentation. If you say you're argumentative, that's a negative. It isn't. No, it's a stimulus. Good. I like that one. You hit it on the nose. I didn't have a word for it. But the idea is, is that argumentation was not a debate, it was stating 
certain facts or, in a sense, countering certain so-called facts. Right. And facts change. Are we still people? It's not that change is required. We have to change everything every minute. We're going into that now. Yeah, That's we are. chaos. Yeah, it's chaos. You know, like you have to have the upgraded camera. You have to have a new program to stick in there, a new chip, a new this, a new that, a new this. Okay. I, my camera's two years old. I can't, I can't get stuff for it. Well, we don't stock it. Anymore. The other is, and I grew up with no change. I went through the depression. Well, you grew to up when they. 1950 with no change. When something broke, they when used to fix it. I was in college it. when change started. I'm pretty close. It was 52, 53. I was finished with high school in 53. You were finished in high school in 53? Well, well, then you're uh, 53. That would be, that would be seven. Uh -oh. No, that's only five then. Yeah. Because I finished in 58. What? How old are you? 76. Yeah, okay. I thought you were 80. That's no. probably a sign. That's, I thought you told me you were 80. I got three years and nine months. No, no, that, that, that's uh, Lloyd's. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. No, I said I'm closer to so, 80 than So 53, so that's your... your um, that's a way I'm having a hard time right now. You're, um, you're, I'm closer you're, to 90 than 60. You're, you're, <laughs> fi <laughs> you're five years ahead of me. It's a big difference. My sister's Not anymore. Here. No, it's a big difference. My sister's five years behind me, and my brother's exactly six in one day. They didn't experience almost everything that I did. Really? It changes. They didn't have a depression, didn't have World War II, and didn't have the recession afterward. Everything started coming up in their memory. Think of the difference between 45 and 50. They were too young to remember before that. My wife as well. In other words, everything started going up in 1950. New cars were coming out in 49, 50, television sets, new telephones. Right. I didn't see any change for most of my formative life. And it was depression-based. Nothing changed. Nothing. Teachers were tough, too. Yeah, they were. Very. Oh. Teacher ruled. Where did you grow up? What area? Hyde Park. Okay. I grew up in Albany Park. It was different. I grew up in Hyde Park, and then my folks forever spot. damaged me, and they moved to Glencoe. Oh, and I was big, fucked up job. ever since. That's a big Oops. Because I had nothing in common with those Now I people. get the real stuff, not the phony stuff, huh? Yeah, you get your own stuff back. Now, wait a second. Right. I hope it's 100 proof, not, not yeah. right. 80. <laughs> Now, if I get up and start doing an Irish U, what would it? What would you say? I would be impressed. <laughs> I would be impressed. I'd rather impress people than depress them. It's sort of the same word, isn't it? Yeah. If you make an impression, you can be depressing. Compressed, depressed. Yeah, and leather. And Chains. Oil. Oh, here we go. Um, oh, Jesus. I'm an official uh, grip when she finishes. Two seven one four. You have to be quiet. She's counting. This is the hardest part. No. Okay. All right. Great. Does she do the photo the old photography count? The you know what? You'll we'll ask her later, but. How you count seconds? What kind of? Yeah, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Oh, okay. I used to do that. I used to do that in the dark room. I had a timer, oh, yeah. and I used to see. Without looking at the timer, I used to see. Can I can I nail 45 seconds? Yeah. And I could pretty much nail 45 seconds. You got good at it. Yeah. So know who you are. Sure. I hope so. But the actual count can be still faster or slower. And over a period of time, you're right on. Yeah, you're right on. Uh, that's that's what I found. Oh, you know? yeah, if you start counting yeah. too fast, you, you, something in your head slows it back down yeah. again. Uh -huh. Weird, isn't it? There's a yeah. real good thing on yeah. that, and it was a book I read about it. You notice how you seek automatically seek balance? <laughs> if you just let it alone. Now it's going to bother me. I read a book about, oh, who, who was it? 
I think it's uh, Richard Freeman. Freeman, Freeman, Richard. He Sim was he was a physicist. Simon who? Richard, Richard Freeman. Oh, okay. Who's that? He is a. You you should go look him up. You you like his stuff. They they have his lectures on tape and now converted to DVDs because he was that good. Different types of lectures on different esoterics. Uh, he mixed physics with real life. And therefore, his his lessons were fascinating, and you didn't have to be a physicist to enjoy them. And, and there, Does he spell his name F R Y M A N? F Y R F Y R M A N. F Y R F Y R M A N. Richard. He passed away like 20 years ago, and he's famous. He's more famous now, probably, than when, and he was on the uh, bomb project. Most of the good books I told you are older. Guy was a real trip. He 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 never lost his child. Never lost his child. Well, what was it exactly? <laughs> Give me one word to describe it. Free. Hmm? He was free. He was well, free to think and free that's to do. That's what free man means. Yeah. F R E I. No. In that, German. Yeah, it's German, but his was F R. His, I think it's F Y R F Y R M A N. I got oh, see, no, the I, spelling, I, I got the it screwed up in the beginning, and now I can never remember the, which one is right. But I have his books, and he, I have. He made uh, French fries. French fries? No, that's that's on drugs you get fried. <laughs> but they should have been called American fries. I don't care. Yeah. They were French cut. French good American fries. But I don't remember French ever cutting them. I never saw it. Well, they probably used that to help sell it.